um, first, I'm going to tell you that I'm starting a new hair project. Recently, I've cut, uh, probably four or five inches off of my hair. It was like two weeks ago. And when I get back from Arizona, I'm going to use this shampoo called Prell. And I guess it's like really intense. And I'm just going to lather my hair up with it. And it's supposed to break up all the black in my hair and help me get rid of it. It'll help it fade faster. So when I'm done with that and I get it to a shade of brown that I can do something with, I'm going to go to my hairstylist friend slash mentor, uh, and he's going to help me achieve an orangey color that I really want. So that'll be fun. Um, tomorrow, I am going to Arizona. I leave here at 6.30 in the evening, and I'm going for my cousin Jessie's wedding. She's getting married to this really awesome guy named Joel, and I'm excited because I get to meet her daughter and my other cousin Caitlin's son for the first time. Her daughter's four years old and I haven't met her yet, so I'm really excited. And Bryson, he's almost a year. He was born last May, so I'm excited to meet them. I'm just having a little bit of anxiety because <laughs> my layover on the way back from Phoenix is in Dallas-Fort Worth, and I have really bad experiences with Dallas-Fort Worth. So I'm really nervous about that. And I'm also kind of nervous about the wedding because I'm going to be a bridesmaid. And I don't, the only people that I know that are going to be there, like there's going to be people there that I've never met before. And that's one of the biggest things I'm nervous about. Uh, like I'm going to know the bride, obviously. I don't know her husband that well. I just know he's a cool guy because grandma talks about him all the time. Uh, my cousin Caitlin's going to be there. Aunt Jody grandma, my dad, and my brother, basically everybody else. Like, there's some people that I've met, like Uncle Tim and Paul and Rachel, they're two cousins, and I'm sure Luke is going to be there. They're two of my cousins, but I I haven't really gotten to know them, really. So, I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be fun. I'm excited to see my dad and Chris, most of all. <laughs> um, what else? Hopefully, eventually, I'm going to be starting school for cosmetology. I can't wait. Um, uh, with our tax money, I'm going to get new glasses. I'm going to get a tattoo on my chest. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'm also going to, you know, have John help me with my hair probably with that money. Mm -hmm. What else? This is my first video, so it, I should have made it more interesting, but it's really not all that interesting. <laughs> um, I've been doing this really awesome aerobics workout. I bought a DVD off of Amazon, and the reason... <laughs> it's from 1987, and you can tell. Like, it's amazing. And the reason that I chose this particular workout is because it's the workout... One of the workouts that my mom used to do when we were little. So it's like... I get to work out and nostalgia all over the place all at once, so it's pretty cool. And I think I figured out why my mom liked me a lot so much, because back then, he looked a lot like my dad did. <laughs> so apparently my mom likes curly-headed dark guys, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, I haven't really been doing much else. We, I've started, I have a zombie deck for Yu-Gi-Oh, and I've edited the shit out of it, like, I put a lot of effort into that deck, and then recently I got a new deck, and I put some effort into it, but I haven't used it yet. I, I got a Fiend deck. I took a, I bought Gates of the Underworld. I bought two of them, and then I had some other Fiend cards set aside because I've been planning to have a Fiend deck for a while. And uh, I took out all the cards that I thought would be most useful and put them together in a deck, and I ended up with 60. I think I've got uh, 10 monsters that I have to tribute for, 10 level 5 and higher, and then 15 level 4 and lower monsters. Uh, and I had 11 traps and 14 magic cards. 
I think. I don't know, maybe my math is off. I can't really remember. But yeah. So I'm pretty excited to test that out. Uh, I got to put my Dark Necro Fear in it. Brett went all over the place looking for this card because it's my favorite card in the whole game. And I had one when I was younger. And I think I'm missing a deck. Like an entire deck is just gone because there's a lot of cards that I had that I can't find. Like I used to have some of the Spirit Messages and I had Destiny Board and I can't find those. I have them now, but we bought them. But uh, So he went all over the place. I was having a bad day. I was at work. So him and his friend Heath went to Tulsa, and they went to like eight different stores trying to find this card. He finally found it. It was a $10 card. He bought it for me anyways. <laughs> I was so happy. So I've got Dark Necro Fear in that deck as well, and I'm really excited. Um, what else? My zombie deck. I love my zombie deck. I kind of ripped Chris off a little bit because he had the zombie deck first, and I thought it was really cool. So I got one. And then I got another one because that's what I do. I, I buy two of the same deck and I put more of the cards that are useful and take out the ones that aren't. Anyways, so our, our though we both have zombie decks, they're both completely different decks, so I think it would be interesting to duel him, but one of my favorite cards in my zombie deck is the Red Eyes Zombie Dragon, just because it's so cool because there's already a Red Eyes Black Dragon. So it's like, I don't know, I think it's really cool. <laughs> and, um, so, yeah. I'm going to sit here and bore you with my nerd speak. Um, I've been spending a lot of time on Tumblr, and I love Tumblr. I love Tumblr. Um, I really wish I had more friends on Tumblr. Like, not, I don't really want to make friends, but, like, friends that I already have. <laughs> like Jen, I think she would really enjoy Tumblr every si Not, I don't think she'd be on it as much as I am, because I'm on it all day, every day. <laughs> but, uh, I think she'd enjoy it. Um. My wife is on Tumblr, so that's nice. But she doesn't get on very often, and when she does, I always miss the stuff that she posts. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I really have much else to talk about, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.